Hi, today marks day 365 since I had my baby, meaning my baby is 12 months today. 12 months is equivalent to one year. I'm so happy, you guys. How are you doing? Welcome back to Jill and Sess. My name is Jill. Now, just a quick one. Today, I'll just be sharing my experience as a mother having a 12 months old baby i know some parents perhaps you have a 12 year old a seven year old you know but regardless each and every person with their own journey and with their own path now i'll be sharing some of the things that i learned throughout this one year and i'll be grouping them in three first things parents should know whether you're pregnant or whether you are expecting a baby secondly things i wished i trained my baby for and then thirdly my baby's milestone at one year so let's start and i wish i'll be quick enough so first things parents should know whether you are expectant and expecting a baby or whether you are planning to have a baby first every baby is different i know this is a cliche each and every baby is different by the way and i've come to realize that being that now i'm having a baby i've come to realize the milestone baby achieve is quite different from the rest when it comes to sitting crawling eating walking you name them and then secondly don't buy clothes and many toys for babies i can say this for sure because i bought many toys for my baby and they overgrow them so nowadays you just play with the spoons cups you know <laughs> tv remotes those are some of the things that fancies are her toys nah so i said i won't be buying much more things i'll just be giving her kiberiti you know the match boxes the i mean babies choose very weird things as their favorite things they don't like their toys by the way and then third <laughs> myths and misconceptions as a parent whether you're pregnant or you have children how many myths and misconceptions have you had how many times have somebody come to you telling you that you shouldn't do something the same way you're doing it you should be doing it differently i was surprised the other time um there's a lady a lady friend of mine who came and told me why are you mixing babies fruits like a baby shouldn't be mixed for fruits at he, if you mix like two or three fruits at you won't get the nutrients that are available oh i was like uh -uh. at you can't mix let's say avocado popo and what again even um mango you know, you see at if you're giving a baby like the juices you should be giving her one or two you shouldn't mix like three i was surprised but these are just myths and misconceptions because i've been doing that to my baby and i have never seen anything bad happening to her so it's according to you as a parent choose what to take and choose what to take okay and myths and misconceptions will always be there someone will come tell you you should sh you should shave your baby after bath to just have how many days me didn't shave my baby until now i've not seen anything bad happening to her so it's according to you as a parent save some take some you do you and then choking in babies one thing uh, that is funny about choking in babies first of first and foremost as a parent if you are in a capacity of learning choking ways like safety methods when it comes to first aid skills you do because babies choke a lot kwanza when they are young and then you overfeed them you, you breastfeed and like they are overfed they tend to like maziwa you toka kwa mapua na mdoma i was getting shocked when it, Ilikunani shock sana later on, but squeeze it, but at least my child has advanced, even though she breastfeeds, yes, but when it comes to eating, akikula chakula like big chunks of food, at his inam inam nyonga, you know, like the way they tend to behave. But choking in babies is real, and as a parent, you just need to be cautious and you need to be very patient. Patient with the child that you're shocking and one thing i can just advise you about you need to learn at least basics when it comes to first aid and choking because you'll experience that a lot more so from the first month okay so let's progress some of the things i wish i knew <laughs> i trained my baby for the just two things that i regretted not training my baby for first and foremost i wished i'd trained my baby to sleep you guys when i mean by what i mean by sleeping is she, I, I mean she's a very early person and late and early person you get what i mean she's late and early person i wish i'd trained her to sleep in that she could sleep by herself because up to now she's refused to sleep in a crib reason by reason being we used to sleep with her from day one so 
I was waiting when she turns to one year. <laughs> I'll progress and try let her sleep on her own crib. But shock on me, you guys. I've tried this over the past week, but it's not working. She's used to sleeping with us. During the day, she sleeps in her crib, which is okay. She has no problem with that because she's always with my nanny. But at night, I've tried even bringing the crib over to our bedroom. But I make her, I make her your story. So when she sees us just taking her to that crib, it's hell breaks loose. So I wish I'd trained her to sleep because we see, instead of other babies, I hear other babies sleep throughout the night. My baby, kwanza ndi alale sasita usiko. After forcing, I don't know what to do, you guys. If you know something, you can leave a comment down below on how I can do because now I think. It's crazy. And then she wakes up twice at night for breastfeeding, which is so crazy. And then second thing that I wish I'd trained my baby for, TV time. You guys, my baby loves cartoon. She loves cartoon. I think because um, I used to put for her cartoons when she's fussy, and then it would help her calm down. But up to now, hey, you guys, we can't watch anything in that house. Kablatake cartoon. She'll just be fussy. When you put cartoon, she starts playing. So I, th I wish I'd trained her when it comes to that. But surprisingly, when she's with my house help, she is very good. In fact, I don't know if she's going to play a cartoon throughout the day. They just play al along. But when I'm with her, I don't know what happens. I think they normally notice when, they, when, when we, they are with their parents, they tend to disturb. The third thing I want to talk, I want to speak about, is my baby's milestone at 12 months. She's had, she's very improved in a lot of things. Na akona milestones kada kada. The first one she sings along to cartoons. By the way, she has like her favorite cartoons thanks to Coco Melon. <laughs> Secondly, she has her best food and drum rolls for this. Do you know my baby's best food? I was telling a friend and she got surprised. My baby's best food is mrenda mixed with spinach. <laughs> And she can eat that alone without to gully. Brandon spinach any day, any time, morning, evening, you name it. That's her best food. And I thank God, but then Brenda has a lot of nutrients. Even though I don't like it the way it's slippery and simmery, but she loves it. Another milestone is she knows how to call mom and dad. She calls me mom, mom, mom. <laughs> and her dad, she calls her dad papa, papa. So I think that's... Um, some of the and at by the it interests me because in the morning she's like mom 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 in the afternoon or when i come to the house she's like mom 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 and i really feel good and then she knows how to respond to her name when you call her naya she'll respond she knows how to feed herself using her utensils and by the way she knows her utensils when it's time to eat and she sees her utensils she comes, uh, she's very happy about it. And then she can drink porridge, you name it, water, juice from uh, her, her feeder. And then um, I've also trained her. I, I don't think if this is training, it's just because I'm not always in the house for the better part of the day. But when it comes to breastfeeding, she just breastfeeds in the evenings and in morning, early mornings. During the day, she's learned not to breastfeed, definitely because I'm not home. Even on, the, on weekends when I'm home, I think it's something that she's get she's got used to. Another thing, she understand she understands instructions and requests. And this also at times also rubs us in a bad way because when you ukimkataza kufanya kitu anakasirika. You just say no, she changes her moods, she even starts crying. When you click at her, she even knows clicking is bad. Yeah? She knows when you click, you're mad. She knows when you say no, she's doing something bad and she'll stop, look at you and maybe sometimes get back to it. I think it's just in a child's, child's mind how it works, we all know. And then she loves phone calls and FaceTimes. My baby, she won't see you speaking to somebody because she also wants to communicate at the same time. So at the end of the day, I'll just be putting loudspeaker for me to speak to whoever I'm speaking to. And she'll, she'll also communicate back. And also she loves FaceTime. Uh, during the day, maybe at times when Nico Kazini, I just normally FaceTime her and we speak and she loves that a lot. And also last but not least, anything that will fascinate her, she'll definitely reach out to that thing. Those are, I, how I wish, 
But anyway, babies grow and we thank God they grow. These are milestones that you don't take for granted. But akiwa wadogo na kuanga wazuri because you just put her there. She, you just, she, most of the below three months, atakungoja hapo, ukuje umtani, umgeuze, umfanye nini. But now, they are all over the place. Akiwa natuwa anything that fascinates her, she'll ensure that amefikia hiyo kitu hapo hapo. But I really thank God. The 365 days is become Missouri. There are no regrets so far. She's growing up Missouri. Right now she started walking a little bit, but I'm a gopa, but I know with time she'll get used to it. And um, she's she's growing and she's learning a lot by there at the same time. Yeah. How are you doing anyway? Long time no see. If you haven't subscribed, kindly do. Do subscribe, do subscribe to our channel and support us on this. And kindly leave a chan uh, a comment down below. Anything that you are experiencing with your babies, any lessons going forward? Do you have a small baby, an infant or a toddler? What are some of the lessons that you wish to share with some of the moms here? Yeah? And that marks the end of today's vlog. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll be trying as much as possible as we can to produce videos each and every week. I know we've been lagging a lot just because all of us, I don't know, we've been busy, yes. Says he's busy on the other side, I know. And I've also been caught a lot, a lot in a lot of stuff. But we are trying, we are trying. Please leave a comment and subscribe. And see you again in our next video. Ciao, goodbye.